Okay, so we have the uh, Poya's problem solving examples. So I'm going to go through example one right here. So the problem says, a soccer coach needs to order new jerseys for upcoming season. If each of his 12 players need three different jerseys, how many jerseys would he need to be made? So the first step for Poyo's problem solving, we have understanding the problem. So as shown in the previous slides, we're going to see what, um, what is the question asking for. Um, and so right here we know that how many jerseys the soccer coach needs because that's what the problem is asking. Next we have what information do we need? So when we're looking at the actual problem, we want to look at keywords. So I'm going to grab here a little um, color pencil to figure out. So we have the keywords. So we know that um, if each of his 12 players, so each would be a keyword because it indicates multiplication. And now we have also the um, numbers given. So we have 12 players and of the 12 players, uh, they need three jerseys. So <clears throat> we have uh, 12 players each and three jerseys. So now we move on to uh, step two. Devise a plan so we can see what strategies can we use. We can use a drawing, a repeated addition, diagram. Any of those would be sufficient, but always writing down what plan we can use is part of step two. And I'll help you out when um, actually carrying out the plan. So now we go to step three, carry out the plan. And so now we put this plan of step two to step three in action. What works best? So we have uh, the diagram or repeated addition, however. So right here in this example, we have the 12 uh, soccer players, right? And we know that each of them need three jerseys. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. And so we're gonna give each person a jersey. And then we're gonna do it three times. So we have one, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, and so on. So with uh, all that being said, we can count how many jerseys each player actually gets and then what would be the result of how much the coach needs. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, and 36. So in total, the coach would need 36 jerseys. Or we could do repeated addition because that's also a multiplication. So we have a uh, three plus 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 three um 12 times which equals 36. okay so now that we carried out our plan and we draw it and we did it and um we followed the rest of the steps now we go to the last step and the last step is step four look back so we're going to look back and see if um, our problem made sense and what we did uh, is correct. So, um, and it says, look back and check your problem solving process. Does it make sense? Justify and reflect. So we do know, so we do know that uh, three times 12 is 36. And we know that because right here we did, th we added three 12 times, which is 36. And we also know that uh, 36 divided by 12 equals 3. So that checks off that right there. And that's just looking back and making sure these are correct. And also we could see right here that um, with going on with this diagram, we know, okay, so we have 3 right here. And then uh, another 3 right here, so that's 6. And then we have another 3 right here, which is 9. And then another 3 right here, so it's 12. And so on, you just see the t the total of jerseys you have counting each player um, in total to get a uh, 36 uh, jerseys. So as stated right here, as a result, the soccer coach needs to have 36 jerseys made. And this is completely following all the steps and going um, 
each each process just uh, naming the keywords and then we have uh, looking at the diagram and um, devising a plan then we have actually writing out the plan and solving it and then looking back just to make sure that uh, it makes sense and everything's carried out right so this is the first example of how to do Puyo's problem solving